In cases interpolation is required for a data set with irregular x interval, there are appropriate methods in identifying values. Newton's divided difference is one of those which uses a divided difference table. Learn more about it here in Numerical Solutions to CE Problems. Interpolation using Newton's divided difference is used when the jumps of x values in a dataset is random or irregular. The first step of the method is to complete a divided difference table and use the leading differences in the standard formula to determine the interpolated x value. Look at the sample dataset to understand the procedure of a divided difference table. This is basically similar with the regular difference table, but because of the various x intervals, divisors are used in each difference. Moreover, the notation of each difference in this table uses the involved x. The significance of such notation will be explained a little later. Now let's proceed with the first difference column. 204.25 minus 244 upon 0 0.5 minus 0 is negative 79.5. The same will be done on the succeeding rows like 163.75 minus 204.25 divided by 1.5 minus 0 0.5 which gives negative 40.50. The next is 184 less 163.75 and this is divided by 2 minus 1.5 and gives 40.50. Lastly, 184 taken from 358 and everything is upon 3 minus 2 is 174. The second degree difference will be solved similarly. So the first value is taking negative 40.50 less negative 79.50 and this is divided by the corresponding x. You can trace back the x for every value, but the easiest way to determine them is by checking the notation. Note that the first and last x's show the gap of the x intervals. In this example, we take x3 minus x1, or that is 1.5 minus 0, and everything gives 26. The next second difference is 40.50 minus negative 40.50, and this is divided by 2 minus 0 0.5, which gives us 54. The last value in the second difference column is solved from 174 less 40.50, divided by 3 minus 1.5, and that is 89. Moving on to the third degree difference column. The first value of the third degree difference is 54 less 26, which is divided by 2 less 0 and it is equal to 14. The second value is taken as 89 less 54 divided by 3 minus 0 0.5, which give us another 14. For the last difference column, regardless of what divisor we have, we can note that the numerator contains 14 minus 14, giving us 0. This is the completed divided difference table for our dataset. We can now interpolate the required function of x by using the leading forward differences, which are negative 79.5, 26, and 14. Let's understand deeper the formula for the method. The first term is the reference f of x0, which is the first y value. 
The succeeding terms has a pattern which comprises of adding more x values according to how many difference columns we have. x in the equation is the x value of what we are looking for. Those quantities in brackets are the leading divided differences from the table. Say that we are looking for y when x is 0 0.57 from the data set we had earlier. The different x data points can be labeled as x0, x1, x2, and so on, so y0 is 244, according to which leading divided differences we would like to take. So from the table shown earlier, we can point out xi, xj as negative 79.5 xi, xj, xk is 26, and xi until xl is 14. Check the table shown previously for the values. All we need to do now is to plug them into the equation. So f of 0 0.57 is f of x0, which is 244. The next term is the quantity of x minus x0, multiplied by xi times xj. That is 0 0.57 less 0, then multiply this with negative 79.5. Again, the next term is similar. It is 0 0.57 minus 0, multiplied by 0 0.57 minus 0 0.5, and again multiplied by xi, xj, xk, which is 26. Lastly, Add x minus x2 in the term, so it becomes 0 0.57 minus 0, multiplied by 0 0.57 minus 0 0.5, and again with 0 0.57 less 1.5, and 14. Compute the terms and simplify to have f of 0 0.57 as 199.2029. Another track of leading differences is the next trend, as it also has three terms. This time, x0 is taken as 0 0.5 and y0 is 204.25. Then the leading differences are negative 40.50, 54, and 14. Just the same, we plug these new values in the equation and look for f of 0 0.57. The long formula becomes f of 0 0.57 is equal to 204.25, plus the next term comprised of 0 0.57 minus 0 0.5 multiplied by negative 40.50. Then the third term is 0 0.57 less 0 0.5 multiplied by 0 0.57 minus 1.5 and again multiplied by 54. Now the last term is 0 0.57 minus 0 0.5 times 0 0.57 less 1.5 and multiply this with 0 0.57 minus 0.2, then multiply the leading difference of 14. F of 0 0.57 stays the same as 199.2029.